Hello, in this video I will introduce the Google Jobs API in SERP API. It allows you to get information about job listings from Google aggregated results. First, let's walk through a parameter list. We can play with them later. It starts with a queue, which stands for query. This is an actual query that the user inputs when doing a search. Next, we have the geographic location group. This is common for most of SERP API endpoints and allows the control user to specify the location. Only one of those should be used simultaneously. The ULE parameter is not got location, then can be passed directly as a parameter. Otherwise, location parameter should be used. Location can be specified with one of the supported location parameters. Those can be found in the section Supported Location API. Here is how you can retrieve a location list. Then, canonical name from the response can be used as an option to be passed as a location parameter. Then we have a localization group. It includes domain, gl, and hl parameter, which stands for the domain, the country, and the language. Further information can be found in the following sections. For Google domains, for Google countries, and for Google languages. Pagination group. Here we have only one parameter called start. Start is a parameter that identifies result of set. So the page number one of set would be zero, page number two of set would be 10, page number three of set would be 20, and so on. Chips parameter. Uh, this parameter allows to refine search conditions. We will look into this in playground later. Engine. Defines the search engine for Google Jobs search API, it would always be Google Jobs. No cache allows to bypass the cached result and have a fresh result instead. API key this is your personal API key, simple as that. Async parameter that allows you to perform an async requests and get results later. It cannot be used together with no cache parameter. Output. You get the JSON by default, but you can get a raw HTML as well. Now let's look into the playground. We can see the previously outlined parameters in playground. Let's do a test search. For example, we want to find a sales representative in Manchester. So first let's put sales representative as a key parameter. Then we would want to search for the city. Here it is. After we change location, we can also change the localization having the main country and language as an option. So right now we have uh, google.com selected as a domain, country, let's select the United Kingdom. Uh, we have the language set to English already, and we can select Google Co UK, the United Kingdom domain for this search. Let's see what the results would be. Now let's compare the HTML and JSON results. As you can see on the position number one, there is a full time, full or part time sales representative from Avon. Location is Bolton, not exactly the Manchester. I hope it's somewhere nearby. The job posting is found via Total Jobs 
Also we have a description for the position and an extension saying that this was posted 7 hours ago. Now let's look into the start parameter. Here we have the start parameter. This parameter defines the offset for results. There are 10 results in a single response, meaning like for a single page. So the page number one we have a zero offset, the page number two would have offset set to 10, and so on. But we are not limited to get a full page offset. Instead, we can change it by one and see how top two results become first. As you can see, the top two result is now on the first position. We can do it once again and see how this result will become first. Let's look into the chips parameter. Chips parameter are used in order to refine a search. So in order to apply the chips parameter, you need to first look into the response chips and look for the options that can be applied. So here we can see the job family, which is actually the job title. And there is a location. We are not interested in location right now, as we are already looking for the San Francisco. Um, we have the date posted as well. Let's try it out. So let's say I want to say set date posted to the recent day. So it would be date. And let's do a search. As you can see, all of the results are for the past day. Let's look for some other chips to be applied and to refine a search. Let's say we want to find the job posting for some exact company. So in this case, we would need to set the organization MID to, let's say we would want to search for the Starbucks. Let's do a search now. As you can see, all of the results are coming from the Starbucks. So the filter works just as expected. Now let's export the code to see how it works, not in Playground, but let's say using a kernel. For this, we need to copy this code and let's try it out. As you can see, you have the results that are just the same as we have in Playground. Let's also try to use a Ruby for that. So, in order to use a Ruby example, you would need to install Gem first in case you don't have it. And once you have it, you can create a file. Let's say, let's start. Starbucks.rb. You post the contents in here, and you might want to add some output in the end to see the result. So we have results in job results, jobs results. Let's see what the first result will be. So we have a long description here, but as you can see, the first result is just the same as we have in Playground. So it's Jefferson and Powell, number 54768. So that's it. If you have any questions about the jobs API, you can post them in the comments below. Thanks for watching.